Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dave Higgins. Welcome to Sandbox Explorer. All right, so I talked about Graveyard Keeper coming out a while ago, <laughs> and um, I've been looking forward to playing it for a long time, and I haven't had the chance to because there's been a bunch of other games that have come out that I've been really into playing. Um, one of them you can see I was playing Golf Story. I finally got around to that. Golf Story is a great game. I haven't finished it yet, so I am not going to talk about it. You know, I don't have a full opinion on it yet, but I've been having a lot of fun with that, and I'm going to put it down temporarily now to play some Graveyard Keeper and check it out. Um, as you know, I love Stardew Valley, and I uh, know there's some similarities to this game. I don't know exactly how much, because I didn't look in too much into it, but i um, going to play... I did this on Super Mario Maker 2. I said, I'm going to play the first 20 minutes, but that ended up being a lot longer. If you watched that video, it was like an hour long. So, um, yeah, uh, let's play some of this game and see what's the deal with this and whether or not you're interested in buying it or not. Um, yeah. So let's load up the game now. Um, oh, yeah. Side note. Completed a Savage Race yesterday. Um, I didn't know until two days before my buddy texted me and he said, you're on the same wave as me. And I was like, what are you talking about? And um, I found out that I had signed up last year because I broke my arm last year and then I couldn't do it. So they transferred it over this year and uh, we did that. So we completed it, 6.6 .6 miles, 50, uh, 26 obstacles. And uh, afterwards we said, hey, let's do it again. So. I did it twice. I did 13.2 miles and I skipped the one obstacle the first time, but did it the second time. So 51 obstacles and I got the medals here. So I'm not one to brag necessarily, but um, I'm hurting today a lot. I'm probably sunburned right now. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I got them. I did it. It's a half marathon in total. And uh, it was it was hard to walk upstairs into the studio here. So. Um, just wanted to tell you that. So let's uh, let's get into the game here. Here's the the loading screen. We got cool looking uh, thumbs up skeleton man here. I don't know if he has a name or not. I don't know if he's a character. If he's just a guy. Um. All right. So here's the opening screen. Let's play new game. <clears throat> so far, I like the music. It's like creepy, fun. It's like a fun, creepy music, yeah. Loading the game up is taking a little bit of time here. I guess I should have loaded it up and then told you about the Savage Race. I also <laughs> have a nice band-aid on my arm because I got a burn at work and it, it hurt. But then I did the two the two races and hurts a lot now hurts a lot so I had to put a band-aid over that um, yeah just letting you know about what's going on with me while this is loading almost almost done here here we go it is an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting for him even in everyday routine there's a place for loving and feeling loved Especially when you know that someone misses you. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> what happened? Where is everything? Calm down. You're merely turned a page in your life. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. Looks like The Undertaker. <laughs> but, I, but I need to go home. Can I go home? Probably not. There's always a way to go home. Oh, I guess there's a way to go home. <clears throat> hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Word. <laughs> Does that mean I'm dead? It probably means that you're dead. It means you're a graveyard keeper now. Not a very straightforward answer, but that's what we are. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. Alright, let's be a good graveyard keeper. 
You should dig up Jerry. <laughs> He'll help you sort everything out. That's funny for me on a personal level. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. New task. Alright, so let's... Let's, uh, let's walk through here. Anything in this treasure chest here? Nothing's in here. Cooking. Berry juice. Alright, let's... Okay. Alright, so I'm assuming this is where Jerry... <laughs> Holy sod, I'm a skull! Are you Jerry? <laughs> I love the sound of him talking. Hmm, why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye, I remember. <laughs> oh, Sard, that's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you, who are you and where the Sard are we? Hmm. I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes any sense. You know, I think it'll be better if I just wait for you here. Poor thing. I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. I ad libbed a couple words by accident. My bad. Something is very wrong with that animal. <laughs> he could be dangerous. All right. Well, let's go see what's going on with this donkey. <laughs> Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. Shrek? Oh, did my video freeze? Okay, froze. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This cart isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. I guess there's some swearing in this. And I only earn five carats a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? So now we're Russian communist type people. The bastard presents that he doesn't pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. What a strange land this is. Here comes, to spell. Here comes Jerry. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember exactly, exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to. Let's do it. Press A to pick up and drop large items. All right, let's uh, let's pick up this corpse and. Sad, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, what's next? Oh yes, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for stars. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure. It's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm talking skull with amnesia. <laughs> Is it is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. That seems right. So shut the sod up and do what I tell you. That's like kind of rude. You promised you'd tell me how to get home. You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Wow, we're gonna do drink the we can't even drink it. We can't get drunk. We don't have anything to metabolize it. You've unlocked a new technology and got a blueprint, another blueprint, and an extraction for flesh. You can extract flesh. Okay. Alrighty. You can bring it over to the table, put it down, autopsy. Also, I'm doing like random accents that are not consistent. So they're, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about that. I'm just going to do it anyways. So let's get some flesh, extract the flesh, uh, work on it to extract the flesh, set it so we set it up to extract the flesh. You've unlocked new text. You can make a, a burger sandwich and bake meat from the flesh, I'm assuming. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. 
So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know, let's bury it. Take the corpse, I'll wait for you in the graveyard. I like that voice. Unknown body part. It's, it's... Oh. Oh, take body. Alright, let's take the body off the table and let's go back. No, no, no. Let's, let's go outside. And let's follow, go through this really, really foggy place. Uh, go into the cemetery or the graveyard, since it's specifically referred to as such. And let's, Jerry, let's bury it! Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard, mark a site for the grave, and then dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body or what remains of it <laughs> in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. I am assuming that that's gonna be something that's gonna take place or be a part of the game at some point that you can mess around. I don't know. So, let's go uh, pick a plot of land. Did I misunderstand what he said? <laughs> blueprint desk. Oh, there's a blueprint desk here. I, my bad. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, so gravesite. And then, how about, let's just put it, let's just put it right up here near Jerry. Alright. Then we can dig up, hold it down. Hold it down and dig up a grave. Dig out a grave. Take the body and throw it in there. <laughs> Pack it down. Filled up. Thank you, nicely done. Hmm. This burial certificate, I remember money, alcohol, alcohol, hmm, I sure used to like it, a lot. Oh, Saad, here comes the bishop, here's your boss. The bishop? Oh, here comes the bishop. Oh, I know, ask him about this burial certificate, he should know something. I better leave now, I'll be on, I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? I don't know. It's probably because you died and have to be... You're told to be the bishop. Ah, Keeper, there you are. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Current location name. Important location information. Graveyard quality. Church appeal. Church appeal. Uh, repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. All right, so we're gonna... You've unlocked new technology and got a wooden marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five skulls, uh, whatever that denotion was, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader and I'm a good judge of character. Ha <laughs> ha. Good at everything. Wow. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. Yeah. Your predecessor used to, th to keep stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. Chickity check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every purple symbol. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part, it's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha ha! I have one tiny question. What burial certificate? As soon as a body's been laid to rest, you can trade his burial certificate for money at the village town. Okay. I'm not- Oh, you can make choices? Okay. I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work. How can I fix the graveyard about the certificate? Oh, it's not choices. It's just different things. 
I'll just say I'm not the keeper. I need to go home. There's a talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. He's gonna be like, haha, -ha, fine joke. I'm a, I'm humorous myself. Here's one. Who is BB? Who? I am. Haha. -ha. That was so funny. Blessed and beautiful. Uh, let's humor him because we don't know his deal yet. If we decide that we don't want to be re respectful, at least appearance-wise, to him, then we'll ignore him later. But for now, let's... Ha. How can I fix the graveyard? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. Yeah, okay. So, okay, back to this here. Um, alright, so let's, uh... Let's, let's, let's leave this guy. We can craft new repair kits in the graveyard. To craft new items, you'll need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Um, read po press the minus sign to open the technology tree. Red points represent your handcrafting skills and your ability to work with materials. Green points represent your knowledge about nature and of things and nature itself. Um, blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the Im Im immaterial world. You'll get your first blue point at the study table in the church basement. You earn points simply by doing anything. Also, you can get points by studying new items at a special table, so. All right, so you got handcrafting skills here, red. You got um, just knowledge in general about nature is green, and spiritual knowledge is blue. So that seems to be the basic system. You've unlocked new technology, and now we can make a stone stockpile. Uh, we can gather stone rock. All right, let's uh, probably gather some stone rock. Let's move forward. Um, Timber stockpile, small tree felling, and sticks. We can get those. Here's our tech tree. Um, we can also look at the characters. So this is what we have under characters. Our inventory, trunk, um, buffs, and perks. We don't have those yet, but those are going to be available to us. Uh, known NPCs, we have us, the graveyard keeper. We have J Jerry the skull, the, 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 the bishop, and the donkey, uh, who likes to swear. It's not like a bad, bad word, but like, you know, I try to be clean on this channel, but if it's in the game, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, and then here's a map. Okay, can we zoom out? Is it? All right, the map's not very big. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that huge anyways, but all right. Um, so the technologies, got concept of wood, so we can, that's the one we just got shown. The same thing with the stones. So next we can get uh, a sawhorse and flitch. Crafted a sawhorse. Create a wood billet. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. I've never seen that word before. Um, but yeah, so here's a bunch of stuff we can do with seemingly wood and stone. Uh, oh, so building. Okay, up the top, building. This is cooking, so this is food. Uh, smithing, so I'm sure we're going to be able to make tools and stuff. Uh, farming in nature, digging graves and stuff, I don't know, we'll find out about that. Book writing, we're going to be able to write books in some fashion. Theology, so some sort of like, this seems to all be more relevant to, so this is probably the church stuff, like the graveyard itself, because it's church, I guess. Um, and anatomy and alchemy, so this is probably different ways to extract body parts and do stuff with it so all right that seems to be the gist of that so <clears throat> this is the chest he was talking about i'm guessing oh that's the trunk okay oh so it shows us what we have in there on our pause screen i actually like that a lot that makes it easier to see what you have stored um Wood repair kit so let's probably let's probably grab those stone repair kit let's take those out too we need an axe a pickaxe and a hammer all those things will be useful i am sure uh, i don't know where the pickaxe and the axe went just now that's kind of weird inventory was this one character inventory uh e i don't know I don't know. However, at this moment, we need to repair the grave. <clears throat> Stone grave fence. Fix grave fence. Work. 
All right, so you hold down the button to complete it. To complete the whatever job you just set up to do. Um, let's just do that with the wooden one here. And there's a blue meter in the corner. I'm assuming that's our energy. So I'm guessing you could probably only do it for a certain amount of time. Or you have a certain amount of energy per day or something, maybe. I'm assuming you're going to also be able to um, regenerate it with stuff that you cook and, and things like that. Maybe stuff that you buy. <clears throat> Alright. Let's just use up all of our repair. I wonder how often you have to repair stuff. Like, it, maybe it degrades on its own. I'm guessing so. Just making some assumptions today. Um, Alright, so we can't do any more of that. No great fence, so, alright. Uh, I think we, do we have five quality? Negative 21, what? He said we need to be five. I guess we didn't fix it yet. How else do we? Uh, let's get out of here from him. This is a negative one. Grave site, flower bed. So we don't need to make a new grave site. We don't need to make, I guess we don't need to make a flower bed. Um, Royal service box will start working once the church opens again. So it's not open yet. What's this say? This area is closed due to the ancient curse. Oh, please address any of these concerns to the Inquisitor. I like how, how, uh, Strange this is. Oh, okay. So we got some nature points from... So it said from doing anything. So literally, we're just digging up some of this. We're clearing some of the land here. Trying to clear the land here. Here we go. follow that arrow to continue the story but you know I'm just gonna dig up some of the stuff and get some nature points because I'm sure we're gonna have to use it for uh, we're gonna learn specifically about so I'll, I'll just grab some of that need a technology need a technology all right so let's not get our stamina well, let's just call it stamina because it hasn't been specifically called anything else Run button doesn't appear to be a run button, but you know he's moving fast enough, I guess. So we're gonna follow the arrow, which is going to the tavern, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> I would I wouldn't mind a faster mode of transportation than, than walking. Um, seems to be taken. A little bit of time where there's a wheat farm here, so uh, that's something that we're gonna have to use. I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, who this? Who are you? Don't go away. Talk to me. Oh, can't talk to you. Can't talk to them. They don't want to talk to us. Oh, I like the shadow, the detail in the shadow, depending on where you're standing. Well, seems to be in relation to me, which is kind of weird. But, I don't know, it's moving around. Shadow's cool. <clears throat> Alright. This person wants to talk to me. You must be the new graveyard keeper. This is Miss Chain. So I've been told, but how did you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Mrs. Chain. She's Miss Chain up the top, and she's Mrs. Chain down here. Horadric's wife. So she's not Miss Chain. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about... Oh, 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 you better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not the only tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. That's the way it's meant to be. Right? Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Alright, well, we'll talk to you later about recipes, because right now, we need to talk to 
Horadric. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Horadric. How can I help you? I come from the graveyard. I woke up here today, and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for a small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I don't know. Now? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. Well, obviously. So let's get, on to, get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? How can you help me? Uh, about the burial certificate. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates. Yes, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Task complete. Of course, only I have any money. Only if I have any money. I was like, he only has money? What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. Well, great. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Uh, do you know how I can get back home? Can you tell me where I am? Because I really need to get home. My darling will be so worried. Well, it seems like you're kind of a little, little, uh... You're at the dead horse. That wasn't a good answer. Well, I guess that was a good answer. He asked where he was, but he didn't address the second part. Uh, it looks medieval, and what year is it now? Year? <laughs> yeah, year? What do you mean? The time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the sun. Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense? Ah! Everybody knows that the Earth is flat. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> But I get you, it's 204 after the ancient contract. And what is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom. It's called the kingdom, and it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? Yeah, why do you think the Earth's flat? Um, I'd like to trade you some meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd like to be... I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Well... I don't have a real meat stamp on it. Many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. Well, it's a body. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? It does not. Actually, no. I can't say I have a stamp, because I don't. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, uh, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal cart through port through the mailbox near your church. But it'll cost you a bundle. There's another way, I'll tell you. Just because we're neighbors, come closer. I'm coming closer. There's this guy called Snake. Sounds uh not so so uh, legit. I think he is a fake royal stamp. Oh but to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask uh, Miss Charm. She comes here every red, every female symbol. I bet she can help you to find Snake. How come she's Miss Charm? Oh, okay. I'm thinking it was his wife, Miss Chain. Miss Charm. All right, trade. Can I trade anything? Oh, tolo, tolo. Oh, keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kresvald? Sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Alright. Um, so I can trade the burial certificate for some money. What does he got? Teleport stone. The items are locked until the vendor or something or other. Well, let's just check them out. Great pie, mug of beer, mug of beer, bowl of pumpkin soup, some food. This is onion rings. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, no, no. Let's, uh, tolo, tolo, tolo. Blacksmith. All right. Tolo, tolo, tolo. Let's go to the blacksmith. Um, so it looks like the days of the week are up in the top left-hand corner. And uh, I'm assuming every time the day turns to the next one, it just moves on that little clock. Um, now, can we look on the map? 
and see where the blacksmith is. He's in in the village. Where are we? At sweet home. Home sweet home. Let's find the blacksmith. Um, doesn't seem to be denoted specifically anywhere. I like the art style on this. It's like I was saying before that uh, I heard it's similar to Stardew Valley in a way. And like, I mean, so far, I mean, obviously the premise is completely different, but um, you know, you got this like same view and. The graphics are uh, a, l a little more upscale than Stardew Valley's, but... Why? Hey, what are you staring at? Why? <laughs> Nothing, just looking around. I am I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Or may I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kresvald. Here's here's a letter from um, Haradric. <laughs> The way they talk in this game is hilarious. A letter, of course, uh, one minute away, and he can't be bothered to come himself. <laughs> I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Chill out. Hmm, slimes again. Heradric has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards. But maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and an energy protein potion. This my, my brain's not working since yesterday. I'm sorry, guys. Um, the sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right behind me. You're the blacksmith. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. All right, if keep the whetstone. That's cool. If you manage to kill them, bring their remains, and I'll spare you some materials. They should be uh, right up the other side of my house, near the puddles. Different actions in the game, spend your energy. Alright, yep. And so it's not stamina, it's energy, but it's stamina. Um, crafting, gathering, and fighting take energy. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Press X to attack. Um, you can always refill your health and energy with food and potions. Press minus to open the inventory. Sleeping will also restore your health and energy. Ask him where to find metal ore. Can I do that? You know what? I like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some ore? Find metal ore in swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west across the river. I just collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. You've unlocked a new technology and got a furnace, iron ingots, and swamp iron. All right, that's cool. New stuff. Um, alright, so let's leave him. Go to the whetstone. Grab that sword. Use the whetstone. Craft. Not enough? What do you mean, not enough? Oh, not enough energy. Oh, okay, I was like, not enough whetstone is one. Um, I, I guess I shouldn't have done that yet. All right, potion. Let's use that, and we got we got some back. Uh, finish that up. I guess I'll have the other potion too. All right, so up around his house. Oh, look at that scarecrow. Hey, it's Stardew Valley. No, I'm just kidding. Um, here are the slimes. This is kind of like Stardew Valley, because you can go in the, the mines, except for it seems like you can probably do it anywhere. Um, how many slimes you got over here, bro? It's just those two? Do, 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 do. Oh, I could have just walked around that way. He's got an outhouse over here. 
I defeated both those two slimes. All right. Good job. Take this whetstone. Just shopping your broken tools, and they'll be good as new. Green jelly and red jelly. We can now make. I'm assuming from the slime. So, um, I don't have anything else to say to him right now. I wonder, is there somewhere you can option controls? Is there like a mission type thing, or are there really no missions and you just have to learn the mechanics? All right, let's say tasks. There's no tasks, right? Technologies, no NPCs, map. Yeah. All right, so let's go back to the tavern. Let's go, let's go into the tavern, not into the wall. Oh! Waddle boo da be da boo da You wanna be loved by- oh, she's singing, but I'm not singing right now. shaluba dooba wah wah <laughs> She's scatting. No, wait, before we talk to her, let's talk to him, because we just completed his, like, letter mission. Oh, no, oh, no. Tolo, Tolo, it's good to know you. I, how to use a sword. Creswell told me about how you helped him. How? I just walked back. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Cool, now you get to go give it to the. to Jerry the Skull. Alright, let's see what. Oh, this is Miss Charm. Hi. What do you want? Wow. I'm a graveyard keeper and I want to ask you some questions. I, dude, all the voices are friggin' hilarious. I see. You know how many times a day I hear that same mumbling? I have no more time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Dude. Expletive. Wow. Not, not a fan of her. Demonstrate the croissant, it sounded like. I have to demonstrate my value. Is this a dentist system? Can I have a moment? What did Miss Charm tell you? She was rude to me. Literally to go away. Yeah. Ah, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. Wow, okay, classy. I'm not just anyone. I'm the local graveyard keeper. <laughs> Soon to be prior, prior of the local church. I'm not familiar with like church terms. <sighs> How primitive! I'm a well-known poet. In certain small circles, my name is Wagner. One day, I'll read my poem to her, and then we'll. She, yeah, you won't do anything. But first, I need to write it, and I am catastrophically out of paper and ink. Well, maybe you can get me some. So you're gonna talk smack to me and. <laughs> get you stuff yeah okay you better give me something good from this so now i can be a journalist you you notice the little things about people but these things together put these things together and you have a story sometimes you can get stories from dialogues which i'm assuming that that's not spelled wrong. I don't know. um where can I find this? You may have some of it in your church, or you can make it. I'm not. I'm just not used to manual labor, but a skillful man such as yourself, as you, can surely do it easily. Also, you can get some from the old astrologer. He used to go to the lighthouse every uh, blue moon day. He was my supplier before we had this ridiculous fight. Well, sounds like it was probably you, because you're kind of a jerk. Um, old astrologer. He's old and mad, whereas I've been studying for three, almost three years at the town university. Wow. Can you believe he turned out to be an idiot? He told me that the earth is round. What nonsense. Bro, probably because it is. <laughs> Actually, it's round. Oh god, you should definitely meet him. The mad astrologer and the graveyard keeper, two wise men. Yeah, well, it sounds like you're dumb, so, you know. Hmm, that could make for a pretty funny poem. This astrologer must be the smartest man around. Maybe he'll be able to help me get back home. Dude, like, you're trying to impress this girl and you can't write a poem, so... It's on a cliff to the east of the village. It hasn't seen active use for a while. 
Bless the dead horse for staying open. One day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple lines about you. Yeah, it sounds like I don't want to be in your poem because all you've been doing is being rude to me. I'm not a fan of this guy. All right, so let's 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 get out of here. We're gonna go to get some ink and paper. I'd really be interested in a run. Oh, use this sword. I'd really be interested in using a run function in this, honestly. Or like a uh, that donkey maybe could like let me ride, ride him around like a like a car. Oh, what's this guy say? Uh, okay, that's fine. I won't go in there until whatever symbol that was. Oh, that was yesterday's symbol. Just come here. Where you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> Sod, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing, I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Edible mushroom, berries, and apples can now be gathered. Wheat! Exactly, I remember breaking, baking bread out of it. And pies, mmm, sweet berry pies. You have unlocked a new technology and uh, dough, pastry dough, and bread. <laughs> toast, onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sod, you know what? I need a beer. Well, I can't be one, so it's all good. This is beginning to feel like a one side relationship. Bring me beer, and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like how you get home. Questions? How about the small road? Yes, can you tell? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with answers? Ki yeah, kinda. Sorry, you smart ass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. Dude, I have a beer for you now. I already got him his beer. Is this what's his place? Is this his place? I forget what he said his place was. He lives in the morgue. Yeah. What's up, bro? Hey, where's my beer? Dude, it's right here. People in this game are kind of rude. <clears throat> ah, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. You know what? Go get it yourself. Alright, you seem like a decent guy, so get some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. I don't remember too clearly, but it was for doing something similar that I lost my body. So if you want to just keep you- if you want to keep yours, just stop. Yeah, I guess you probably should uh, try to figure out what's going on without being like, hey, check me out. So what was your question? I have some questions. How can I get Easy. I'm sure you could use the portal on Witch Hill. So I just need to go through it, or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library can help you. Wow, the church has a library in its cellar. Or maybe the young astrologer knows. He's a smart boy. Didn't he say old astrologer? So it's all a like perspective. He must be really old. Um, how can I get to that library? Obviously through the church, and I think that your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Oh, okay. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Okay. Net, net. I used to like fishing, and I remember fishing. Okay. Once I caught a fish this sod, I've got no hands to show how big it was. But believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails. Well, then don't tell one. And once... You know what? I need to go. Sure, sure, it's nice to have legs. Don't forget uh, to bring me some wine. So he's an alcoholic fisherman. Ask about the astrologer. Oh, he's so smart and very cheerful. Though, I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine was the best, and he was a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. He used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon symbol with a blue background. Where is the lighthouse? Somewhere near, let's see... Sod it! I remember. All of these questions are so frustrating. You're not a very good friend, you know. Well... I don't know. The skull. This Jerry guy. Kinda sucks. But, it's okay. 
sometimes he's funny. Is there anything useful in here? What do we got? No. So I'm guessing that uh, I need to clear the rubble here. Okay, how do I do that? I need to unlock a way to clear the path. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, so... Let's go back to... The cellar? Let's go in here. Oh, it's locked. Oh, so we need to get into the church cellar. And in order to do so... We need to go through the house. Was this anything? Corpse hatch. Oh, okay. Do -do 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 -do. sleep because I need to get some energy back let's just sleep oh what well, was being negative all right cool yep all right what I'm so refreshed this is not good not good at all who do you think you are is this the old gravekeeper I'm the new graveyard keeper hooray a kipper wow I've been here for a Hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary. I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you can help us with? I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. It's funny for some reason. Ah, the half-dead skull, that jealous bastard. Ha <laughs> ha. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially the, the guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river? I couldn't even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. Yeah. What license? Ex exhumation. Exhumation permission. You're such a dummy to dig up a corpse. You need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Dude, everyone in this game is extraordinarily rude to you. I'm gonna go dig up that corpse first before I go in. I don't care about the ink right now. I don't really care about the very moment. We'll get back to that after I after I throw that body in the river. Oh wait, he was saying in the house. I thought he was saying in the churchyard. That makes more sense. So let's 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 go back in the house. All right, so let's let's go in this cellar here. Oh, what's that sound? Who's walking around in here? Oh, it's, it's a tunnel. Damn gate! I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. <laughs> Looks like I can remove this back blockage and fortify the arch. 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 Clear out. I need more stuff. So I'm assuming that this stuff is from here. Oh, this is just experience points. But let's 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 clear this out because you know we need some room in here probably for something. Flowers on there. All right. All right. So, all right. That, I I feel better about that now. Just just clear clear basement, clear area. I feel a little bit better about that. All right. Was a recipe simple and tasty. Unclear. 
thought he said that this guy buried under here in the bottom right corner. Maybe I have to be able to clear the path out first, so... Let's check out if that he was referring to the graveyard. Maybe is that that? This, this dude right here? Can I just do it from here? Exhume. Are you sure you want to exhume the body? I'm, I'm sure. Let's let's take that. Let's take that dude. Let's do it through the. Fa okay, we can't. We could apparently open it up, but it's going to go in there. So where's the river at? I'm not 100%. Um... Maybe it's up to the right? Maybe it's down at the bottom? I don't know. Let's, let's check down this way. Let's see if the river's over here. This is a cliff. can. I'm so used to like old po Oh, what's this? Let's throw this down for a second. What are, what are you? The garden. Property in forfeiture. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, so I can claim it if I reach a certain something. Uh... <laughs> I wish that there was, like, a little bit more direction with, uh, location. I feel like he didn't say which way the river is. And it's not really on the map, it seems like. That's kind of strange. It looks like this would be a river, but it's not. It's empty. Oh. Alright, so that's another path that we probably would need to clear. There's no way I can remove it. For the time being, I'm guessing, because it wouldn't be there if you couldn't. Um, it looks like you get to open the map up, like, a lot more, for access to a lot more things as, as you play. Um, walking down, walking down. Alright, where is this river, guys? It's it's definitely it's definitely gonna be to the right. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm I'm ex I don't think I have to walk all the way through the village to get to it. If we get all the way through the side of the village and there is no river, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little ticked. Fruit trees. So you could probably pick those apples and stuff, but like for right now, we're just gonna. Uh, let's see what they have to say for a second. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying, even if it's drugs or magic licks. <laughs> I'm just looking around. I uh, don't know what's happening, but everyone is telling me that I'm a graveyard keeper. Oh, then you're even worse than those shifty traveling merchants. I must say, your whole profession is a fraud, and I don't like you. Well. Now that I've made my position clear, we can do business. <laughs> really? Can you tell me about farming? Is there anything special I need to know about to be a good farmer? Uh, you need to know how to fertilize the soil and be ready to work hard. Honestly, you don't look like much of a farmer. You're better off buying from a professional like me. Even somebody like you could cook something nice with my vegetables. Oh, cool. Thanks for the recipes. 
Alright, let's pick up this body again, and let's, uh, try to find this river. I don't know where this river is. I apologize that it is taking a while to find the river, but, um... We're trying to find this thing that is not, is not being, uh... Denoted to us. So here's some more village uh, buildings. I don't know exactly what they're all for or who they go to, but they're village villager buildings. There's someone else down there to talk to. But like, I don't know, guys. Let's find this river. <clears throat> There's a cliff. There's some water. There's some water. Looking a little bit promising. This has got to be the river. Unless there's like a big old ocean. Oh, that's the lighthouse. I walk around this tree. Man, can I just like throw you in here? No. I'd really like a uh, a mission menu. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. I'm tired from yesterday. Didn't get to recover fully today. Is this the river? Can I throw it in here? Bro. This appears to not be a river. It appears to be. Oh, what's what's behind me? D-pad thing. All right, so we got some some D-pad. Oh, this is the river. I just have to walk up to the river bank. I can do it from here, maybe. Does that not count? I'm so confused. I swear, I just did the thing. Hey, this is a fishing spot like others you can find in the village. River, swamp, and sea. Is what is this one? Need a fishing rod. Well, guy, <laughs> what is this? This is this is a beach, uh, clearly a beach, but uh, you know, if I didn't have this body to like throw into a river right now, I could probably discover more things, which I kind of wish that I was doing, but um, trying to finish finish this whole uh, this thing for this ghost this random ghost that, that appears to me and just doesn't really explain too much. Nobody really explains too much here they just expect you to know what's going on man, like all right. Oh, the beach. All right. So uh, you can discover the the map. I thought it wasn't really like uncovering as we were walking around. Uh, something that we can't go into now. Um, if the river's like right below the the graveyard, then I apologize. I really go for a running, running, uh, option in this. <laughs> kind of get stuck behind things. Not often. It's not bad, um, but sometimes there's, like, areas that looks like you should be able to walk through the can't quite get through. Uh, where do we think the river is, guys? I think it's probably... I, I have a feeling that they weren't going to really have us go all the way through. 
and uh, it was actually back there. So. Walk in with the body. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like cliffside. All right. There's also like no you are here kind of thing on the map, which is also kind of weird. There's like a few things about this game so far that I would make adjustments to like on the map. Have a marker for yourself. Have a task panel or something along those lines. So that way you can see what you're supposed to be doing or what people have instructed you to do or requested from you. Um, oh my God, there's the river. Throw body. Wow, it was right there. Wow. All right. So you. All right. So now we're gonna go back to the house. So I could have saved this. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid. Of, a ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything about anything to you. Ha <laughs> ha. He's disembodied, so clearly they don't get along. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Bro. Of course, I'd never do anything like that because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Do you know where that river leads? Well, now I have to burn the body. Go find it? Alright, let's do it. A river somewhere down to the town, I think. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. You need fire and wood. You need fire and some wood. Haha. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Hmm. You need a a nice quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance, near the cliff. Uh, <laughs> it's much as I want to help this ghost guy right now. I kind of want to see what other things are in the town, but let's, let's stroll by and see if anything kind of pops up. Oh, excuse me again. Sorry about that, guys. So, across from the mortuary engines. Near the cliff. Uh, so, there's blueprints in, like, ran- Oh, you can make a crematorium. Oh, you can make a crematorium. Okay. So, if we go down here, is this going to... get us the things that he was saying we need. This is where we just were. What's this? Need a technology. So there's like some typos in here. <laughs> Once in a while too. It happens. It's not a big deal, but... I don't know. Check, check for that? Check for that maybe? You said it's only closed. Yeah, it's closed for now. Here's the long path through the week that we can walk through if we care to. Um, back to the town. tavern not everybody talks to you i don't mind the idea that you can't seemingly talk to people that oh does he have to say anything nope nothing i uh i just can't go through all right so to a degree i don't mind that you can't talk to people that aren't relevant to what you're doing or seemingly can't i don't know 
a little, little weird some of the mechanics in this, but I, I'm interested. I'm still interested in the concept of it. And uh, what is this? Fresh eggs. You've unlocked a new technology and got an omelet and fried egg. You can trade with, with the fried with the fresh eggs. I know it's like buying them, but. So you can like discover recipes and stuff just by exploring and talking to people. All right, here's one of the guys that we walked by before. Just <laughs> dig. This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? You said it out loud. No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to say, trying to stay positive. I know it truly matters. What? <laughs> Do you think he can understand? No, dig. He won't because he can't see. So he's like Gollum, Smeagol. Okay, then I'll tell him a sweet lie. He even kind of sounds like Gollum. The only things that matter are peace and herbs and nice sweet things. Sweet like honey. Bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. So different people in the town seem to be able to teach you how to make things that you need. Um, get you recipes, like I said, and... Uh, Items the uh, the blacksmith Kor Korslav, what I forget his name honestly, but um he taught us how to use a sword and gave us that. Um, where's the dude who was chilling up here? Walk by him. There he is. Hmm, I smell something toasty and smoky. If you're looking for someone to read, if you looking for someone to read your palm, you should go to the town. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that guy's voice is hilarious. Everybody there is scrambling to earn enough to buy a scrap of bread. Y yeah, what smells so good? It's great, isn't it? That's my kebab. It's an old family recipe. Bring me some good fish and fish fillets, and I'll teach you. Well, I like that you don't have to sleep every day like in Stardew. I'm comparing this to Stardew just because that's what I was originally kind of comparing it to. But, um, like, obviously, after playing this for a little bit, it's vaguely like it. It's not really like it. Um, to, to compare it to it, I feel like it's just for descri describing the um, overall general gameplay mechanics, but not really any in-depth things going on. Um, you know, I don't know how the relationships between characters uh, will, will work. I don't know if there's any sort of uh, relationship building or if it's just going to be building off of, like, the story itself and that's all. Um, yeah, what's this guy saying? But you don't have to sleep, like, every day. We can talk in the day, not now. Wow. I guess he cares about his job, so I guess that's fine. Um. I'm not, like, missing something about how to... Let's look at the controls. Is there anything I'm missing? Interact, work, attack with a sword, open a game menu, use a quick slot item, and pause. Uh... So no. Just strolling along at night. See if we go in here, is, is there anything the skull Jerry's gonna say to us? We're still trying to find him some wine. See, that's why I wish there was a task menu. Gotta say, really wish there was a task menu in here. I still, I'm still convinced that I'm not seeing one. There's supposed to be one, but 
These are all the NPCs that we know. Yorick, he's the ghost. So, let's say there's some sort of relationship building. That's probably just completing tasks. Technologies, can we spend? All right, so we got some, some points to put out towards different technologies. Um, let's see, anything we want to add to? Sawing, smithing, probably building would probably be the most useful thing at the moment. Oh, okay, so, build a, make it a sawhorse, I need more of those to make firewood. More of the red ones, rather, to make firewoods. So that was clearing the barrels and stuff like that, I thought. This is gonna get me a green point, right? Oh, I can't even do that with that tree. It needs to be like a small one, like a bush. So that's gonna get us like a green, green one. We can forage for like, oh, we could forage for, yeah, edible mushroom. I got us some more, some more points. What about this? What's this here? Uh, cook there. Actually, okay. So we picked up the tools earlier, and they're just in your inventory. You don't actually have them like in your inventory well you know in your inventory but they don't take up space so that's cool because you know animal crossing um they have take up space hopefully in new horizons they don't have that and it's sort of like this where they're just in a, i mean view them it seems like you can't view them in here right let's go in the inventory oh they're in the middle here okay i see so that's cool that they don't take up your inventory space. You just have them fill the slot of your tools. So I hope that is a thing for uh, New Horizons. Nature points. Nature points seem to be the thing you get the most of so far in the beginning, at least. So now that we get some more of those points, let's uh, let's go back to building. Let's make it so we can craft firewood. And I think that's all we need at the moment. To make a fire, do you need to have that be an ability? Or can you just make a fire if you have the firewood? Probably, probably just make a fire with the firewood, I'm going to guess. We have to find the body in the town, somewhere in the town, and then we have to make the. Uh, sorry. Then we have to make the fire and then burn the body. And then your lick will hopefully be happy. I'm guessing, because if it's burned. Oh, okay, here we go. Everything is ready, Monsignor. Good. Well, that guy's whispering like crazy. Good. Were, were there any problems? No, Monsignor, except there was a strange fellow snooping around. That's probably me. Oh, there he is. Halt. Really? Really, bro? Guys, calm down. I live here at the graveyard. He calls us guys? Why, he's a cultist for certain, Monsignor. I am the graveyard. Well, let's go with I know the bishop, because... This will probably result poorly. I'm sure they have some sort of bad blood, but let's find out. You know, the bishop is a good friend of mine. He appointed me as a keeper of the local graveyard. Let's say he's a good friend. Interesting. Dude, he's creepy. Interesting, but I can believe you're a friend of his. Uh, though I'm not, it's not a terribly impressive feat. Just pay him a compliment and he's your friend. Yeah, basically. But appointing someone to the graveyard is certainly outside of his area of responsibility. I'll have to visit him and remind him again of the limits of his authority. Would you join me at the witch burning ceremony? Yeah, for sure. Let's let's do it. Whatever. It'll be my honor. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. So how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Uh, the skull said to like uh, not really talk about the the deal. So let's dodge the question right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, it just happened. There's nothing special to say. You're definitely hiding something, and I'll find out what. Man, my guy needs to learn on his like silver tongue skills, which I don't have myself, so it's so good. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith and humankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded, and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously auspicious time. Dark cult is rising. I can feel it. Righteous anger rises with, within my soul. We haven't re revealed a witch for a long time, and now we're lighting up for the second one this year. And it's only the beginning. Burn the witch! Burn! Burn the witch! Light the fire. Light the fire! Yes, Monsignor. Long live the Great Inquisitor. Hurrah! I'm not gonna say all they're saying now. <clears throat> so, you work with a lot of dead bodies, huh? Yes, I think it's a part of my job. I think it's a part of my job. And you live right beside this hill near the graveyard, is that right? Yes. Interesting, interesting. You know, I need someone to be my friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. Villagers. They're different from us town citizens. You can't trust them. But you're new here. You might notice something unusual. Yeah, let's be friends. Whatever. Sure, it'll be a pleasure to be your friend. I don't know anybody else right now, really. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. To earn my trust and to be a friend of the Inquisition, you will first have to show your goodwill. So, I have a couple of minor tasks for you. <laughs> the wish is burned. So the wish just got burned. What kind of tasks? Everything in due time. Today is a day of wrath, not a day of sorting the minor details. We can talk next that symbol, or any other that symbol. I'd like to come here. There is no other place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. Dude. New task. Where? Where? Where are the tasks? I swear, I gotta be missing something here. The guy's voice is creepy. So we got some, uh... He says holy, but, uh, you know, he's burning people. But, what, you know. So the witch hills up there. So, all right. So different areas of the town are available at different days of the week. Um, yeah, I still, I'm still not sure about this whole task thing. So, uh, in the comments below, if I'm missing something, if you already played this game, let me know, because I don't see any, any task area available. And, 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 it's, and it's bothering me. Although, I'm glad that that just happened because I can see that there is some type of a story here and it's definitely, uh... To me, this is starting out a little slow, but I'm thinking that over time it'll pick up more and there'll be more details of what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find that body from the river and then we can burn that somehow, maybe, hopefully. Um, and then, if not, I'm just gonna end the video, because... <laughs> let's, let's grab... Oh, I can't even get that yet. So, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of technology that you can get, man. 
to be able to just do anything in the game. So, uh, I mean, I, I like being able to uh, unlock stuff to actually be able to do more things in the game and not be able to just do everything from the start because I find it more fun and rewarding to unlock stuff. But the lack of direction is kind of strange to me. So that guy can walk through that, that post. I'm assuming that this guy's in the walkthrough too. Yep, but I can't. So... Yeah, um... There's some stuff with this game that I would patch. Um, I'm not... I, I thought that I was going to be like instantly falling in love with this game. Uh, I don't dislike it for sure. I, I'm enjoying it, but it's, it's a little strange with the, the way that it's progressing, I guess would be the way I want to put it. Yeah. Let's see if we can talk to that guy in the lighthouse. <clears throat> That'll be the last thing I'll do in this video because... I want to figure out some more stuff, and uh, I don't want to bore you with the figuring it out part so much, because they're not really telling you what's going on. I mean, I like I like games where you just have to figure it out. Usually. Oh, we can't talk to the lighthouse guy either. We can't go inside. Which I guess I guess that makes sense because in games you can like always just go into buildings regardless of whether or not it's owned by you or not. Oh, I thought you could apples from these. Let's, let's break this rock. So you can only do certain things on certain days, uh, in certain areas, and talk to people at certain times, and you have to unlock technologies to be able to gather items and create items. Um, I really want a faster mode of transportation around. Maybe we're gonna get that, but we haven't gotten it yet. I would have introduced that pretty quickly into the game if there was gonna be one, so that's making me think that there isn't one. Um, villagers can feel safe. Yep, yep, sure. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna end this video here because it seems like there's there's a lot of stuff to figure out <laughs> and it's just not it's not progressing the way that I, I want it to for this video to, to continue on from here rather um, let's 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 end this, this music. my thoughts on the game um, I want a task menu I don't see a task menu. They talked about it. It says new task, but I don't see a, a view, a viewable area for it. So that's kind of weird. Um, I want to be able to move around faster, just a little faster. Not not like crazy fast, just a little faster because it takes a while to walk across the, the area. Maybe not always be able to run like, you know, when you're carrying a body, probably can't run. It's, it's hard to carry heavy things and run. Like, trust me, I know. But you know, you can do it. Maybe your stamina depletes when you do that or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, um, I'm guessing that it, it pieces itself together a bit more, but maybe it doesn't. I, I don't know. Um, the story seems like there is one, but you have to figure out how to unlock it. I don't know. I, I, I'm having a little bit of a problem with the way that this is playing at the moment, but... I don't know. I don't know exactly my thoughts on this at this time. When I play it more, um, I will have a video actually with like a review of it as opposed to this first. What I originally intended to be about 20 minutes, but as I said, I, it's definitely going to be longer. This one kind of is dragging, so that's why it's it's longer than 20 minutes. Uh, I, I felt like I wanted to really get a good feeling of what the game is like, which usually you can do just by playing. You kind of get the hang of what's going on and I don't feel like this game is really giving you the hang of it like right off the bat shortly into it rather um, yeah so I know I sound really negative about this right now but like I'm not 
I don't feel negatively about this. I'm just having some critiques about it, and that's really kind of what's shining the most at the moment. Um, yeah, that's about it right now. Um, if you if you liked this video, hit the like button. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how much I even like this video because of, of the way that it's 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 playing out. Um, I don't know. Uh, I definitely am being. I, I want to be optimistic about this game. I've been looking forward to it for a long time, and yeah, I, I need to do some research on it <laughs> to figure out if there's a task menu. Where's the task menu? But yeah, like this video. Uh, some subscribe to me if you if you want to see more videos. Uh, I swear that <laughs> the majority of them are not like this one where. Uh, it doesn't really seem to amount to too much by the end of it. Um, and hit that bell. That bell will let you know when I release a new video. And again, most of them have better better content than th this one has been able to provide for me. I, I, I'm not super pleased with the way this, this has uh, come along so far. Um, let me talk about some of the good points before the end of this though before I completely get off of it, because um, I like the premise of you're being in some like medieval area. I like medieval stuff a lot. Um, I like the way the voices are. They're funny sometimes, they're kind of creepy sometimes, and um, normal other times, but overall I feel like it's funny. Um, <laughs> the, the villagers and townspeople are really rude to you. I'm gonna guess that that's gonna change a little bit as you progress and people start to like know who you are and you do stuff for them. They'll probably be friendlier to you. But like off the bat, they're like, really mean to you, like super rude to you to the point that like, I wanna be able to be rude back to them in the game, but you don't really have that option. You can only be like kind of passive aggressive. Um, but <laughs> yeah. I I'm trying to be like positive about it and I keep saying negative things about it. Um, I like the idea of having a graveyard. I like spooky, I like medieval things, I like spooky things. Um, it's, 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 I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna stop droning on about this right now. Um, again, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to hear more from me, hit subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notified whenever I release a video. Um, thank you for watching. Really, if you watch this up to this point and you're still watching and listening to me, uh, <laughs> seriously, thank you. Um, that's it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.